Hey, 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 guys. How's it going? I trust that everyone is feeling a little better than the last week. In today's audio, you will understand the true meaning of satisfaction. And that is why I'm mentioning that finding satisfaction is a phrase that only 1% of people would understand. Please pay close attention to this conversation. The ending is super smart. Once again, I'd like to thank you for listening to my audios. Please try to listen to them multiple times so that you can understand it completely and start to apply in your daily routine. All right, wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. Bye for now. Okay, so can you tell me from what you feel, would it be okay to be specific about something kind of generally because yeah. I am used I'm good at this yes. so, okay yes. thank you okay so like when I was really like high flying I was really into this divine partnership and I would call this person champion and I was just enjoying creating it and thinking about my wedding and I was living my life and it was like no big deal and then I met this guy 10 years ago okay long story a sh- long story short it went wonky didn't talk for a decade talk, you know, the last couple of years, it's wonky again, right? So I'm like, I can get back into that energy of creating, champion, and being in this energy and not needing it to happen. It could be him, not be him. But because it went wonky with that, whenever I go to that place to just create, I keep going back to that. You just did a better job of this seminar than we did. (laughs) You just did. Didn't she just tell you the same story we told you? And didn't her version make more sense to you? (laughs) Yeah, so you're asking me, and I know that I can do it, is to be focused and go deep regardless of that. We're asking you to find satisfaction at a deeper level, not need champion to be in your experience for your satisfaction. We're asking you to look for some other satisfaction that will lead to some other satisfaction, that will lead to some other satisfaction, that will lead to some other satisfaction, that will lead to some satisfaction. But when you start over there with that, yeah, I'm like looking at that, oh. and it's gone wonky, you can't control it, then you just keep practicing a vibration that doesn't work for you. Different faces, different places, same experience because nothing's shifting in your vibration because you are having knee jerk reactions. You're responding to conditions, and the response to conditions is controlling your vibrational output, and whatever's controlling your vibrational output is controlling your vibrational input. And so what you're radiating out is what's coming back to you. And so you're just in this spiral where you can't get there from there. You can't get there from there. But what happens is after doing this for a while, now you've got a new desire. What is it? Got to be an easier way. You got a new desire. What is it? I want to get back to the true heart of who I am. What other desires are coming out of this? I really want to be ready for something or someone who's really a vibrational match to me. It isn't hard to understand conceptually. And you know how we know that because you're getting this today. We're offering you laws and concepts and you are as a group of people up to speed with what we're talking about. And now you're going to go out into the real world where you're going to have experiences and then you're going to be able to come to some conclusions. Am I going to let most of my energy just be in response to what I'm experiencing? Or am I going to let that experience shore up what I really want in my vortex? And am I going to get back to basics, get myself centered, get into such a satisfaction that champion could live or die. And I wouldn't care. (laughs) Champion exist or don't exist you are not essential to my alignment to my equation to my satisfaction i have taken the importance of conditions i can't control out of the equation and now that i've taken conditions that i can't control out of the equation now i can find satisfaction which will lead to this which will lead to this which will lead to this but as you run around as peoples and you observe what others are living and somebody's living something that looks like what you want and you don't have it and you let that be where your attention is you're not ever going to be ready for what you want because there's so much lack based vibration going on 
because you can't get there from there it's not because you're not a good person and it's not because you're not a good thinker and it's not because you're not a good student of the principles it's not because you're not good at processing it's because no matter how good you are at anything oh, here it is your life is moving so fast that you've got to get back to basics on a really regular basis because what's manifesting will always feel like a rut like a million dollars been there done that like a new car been there done that like a new relationship been there done that 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 there's got to be more you keep saying what's it all about what is it about it's about satisfaction what's satisfaction about alignment between you and you it's only what it's about so you ask your inner being joins that becomes it radiates it you've got to bring yourself in vibrational alignment with your inner beings version of your new life and you know how new your new life is really new it just happened again there it went 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 again so your inner being staying up to speed with all of that you've got to too but it's not a thought process it's not a heady process it's a centered process it's an allowing process it's an appreciation process it's a satisfaction process you see people you wonder about this you talk about it a lot people write books about it you read it you argue about it on cable news so what's the right way of life there are people living in villages who have nothing who are happy you say it's a really good book make a great movie make a great thousand movies and it has then there are people living with by most standards incredibly perceived abundance who aren't happy oh what's wrong with them and then you come to the craziest conclusions well you got to give all your stuff away <laughs> you have to give all your stuff away to find out what's real and then you discover that poverty is not that much fun <laughs> it's just not that much fun and once you're back in poverty you think they weren't as happy as they were pretending to be <laughs> because I'm doing all the poverty like things that they're doing and I'm really not that happy and so what we're saying to you is it is not about what you're doing and it isn't about what anybody else is doing it's only about the relationship between your own evolution which your inner being is holding and how much of that evolution or expansion you're allowing yourself to experience right here and now so satisfaction isn't about having things or not having things it's not about living in the mountains or living on the coast it's not about the climate you live in it's not even about the people you're surrounded with satisfaction is about how much of who your life has caused you to become you're allowing to be let in right now that's all that's all and for the most part other people distract you from that what are you bringing to the vibrational table when you come with a group of others are you ready to be ready so that there you are in your readiness to find the very best of them because if you are only the very best of them will show up with you but let's say you thought you were ready but you weren't ready and something less than the very best of them showed up now you're looking at it don't you know it can't you feel it can't you feel your discord and instead of asking them to be different why not figure out that you must not be ready for something it's not a good vibrational match we don't have to spend any time say to them figuring out why neither one of us like being here it just doesn't feel good to be here and since it doesn't feel good to be here then I think I'll go where I know is a sure 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 fire thing that I will feel good about oh I've quieted my mind there's nothing negative in my vibration I'm back to center I can feel my source I'm not thinking about anything but this is step three I don't have to think about it I did step one it's already been thought about source has done step two source has already thought about it all I have to do is find satisfaction right here in step three and then and then and then and then you don't ever have to know anything else you've got it this is the formula for living happily ever after it's a formula to anything that you want and don't be mad at people don't know it that are out there banging on your door asking things of you just say hi and pretend like you're listening and don't <laughs> Esther was trying to communicate to someone the other day and then she thought I wonder if it's a language barrier and then she realized it wasn't then she thought maybe it's a cultural barrier she didn't know so much about what that meant but it seemed like a good idea she was trying to explain why she could she said these words over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and they could not hear them and then Esther thought this is a vibrational variance and the vibration could very well be in me 
I'm trying so hard to make this understood and it's not being understood and I'm freaking out because it's not being understood and I'm far from my ability to communicate anything vibrationally happens with your lovers happens with your kids happens with your best friends have you ever not wanted anything more in this whole experience than to convey your love to someone and what you hear coming out of your mouth is doing the opposite of that as you're nitpicking over something that just doesn't matter and then you're trying to make up for it with more words <laughs> to convey love you got to be a vibrational match to love got to start there okay really quick so with that thank you that was a huge contribution so even with that when you said like Esther was doing like a lot of the focus wheels, I think we kind of have this habit of knowing that we can move energy. So when something goes wonky, we're like, well, let me fix it. Right. Cause you know, we know how to do that. And now I feel like the messaging is like, just go to this. Well, you see, place. the reason we're talking to you all like this is because we've watched your progress. We see that you now accept that you are the creator of your own experience and you're sensitive enough to know when you're not doing it. And that doesn't set very well with you. And so then you start being mean to yourself about it. I should be doing better is something that we're beginning to hear from a number of you. And so what we want to help you to understand is that the requests are going to keep coming and the stakes are going to get higher and higher and higher. The more, you know, about alignment, the less you are able to tolerate not being in alignment. You said to the little kids, you're too sensitive. And if we were standing there with Esther's mouth so that we could speak about it, we would say to the little kid, you're not too sensitive. Your sensitivity is really good for you. But someone else says you're too sensitive because something's bothering you. But if you don't know it's bothering you, you can't do anything about it. And people are frustrated that you haven't done anything about it because you're displaying your sensitivity in unproductive ways. You got to start back over here. You see, we want you to have everything that you want and we don't want to be a bubble burster but we also think that it is important for you to know that the things that you really really want right now are not going to please you for very long but you don't know that if you still don't have them you have to get them to understand that so there's a whole body of people on the outside of what they want looking at a lot of you who have what they want and they think that if they just had what they want that you've got that then they would be happy but happiness isn't about the accumulation it's not even about the moving through people gather a bunch of possessions and then they leave a bunch of possessions and then they gather and leave and gather and leave it isn't about any of that it's about what you're doing with your vibration it's about what life is causing you to ask for now haven't you noticed about yourself that you can be overwhelmed because you haven't tended to your energy and that's all right that's how you figure out that you want to tend to your energy right so you haven't tended to your energy and so you're feeling overwhelmed and then all you want is just some peace and quiet you just want to get off by yourself or with someone that's sort of kind of like you where you can just sort of chill out and then it's not very long before you're bored so you go from overwhelmment to boredom overwhelmment to boredom overwhelmment to boredom and did you notice we didn't do the pendulum like this because overwhelmment and boredom and overwhelmment and boredom is still not in vibrational alignment nowhere close to overwhelmment or boredom is satisfaction it's just a different version of not letting it in when you're overwhelmed you're not letting it in when you're bored you're not letting it in but when you say oh I'm overwhelmed I need to do less eh. or oh I'm bored I need to do more eh. those are not the right answers the right answers are I need to get into vibrational touch with who I really am to find out what I really want do you know that there isn't one of you here and you're brilliant and wonderful but there's not one of you in this room in fact we rarely meet we've never met one of you who could articulate with any precision at all what's really in their vortex because you have put it there so incrementally that you can hardly identify it but when you get back into alignment with who you are you are a vibrational match to it and as it begins to reveal itself to you and you begin to realize it because of your alignment then you say I'm surprised and delighted and sometimes you've wondered when we've talked about how the universe will surprise and delight you 
hey, wait a minute. If I'm a deliberate creator and I'm calling the shots on what I want, why would there ever be a surprise? Because you can't hold consciously in your mind all of the important facets of the things that you've been asking for. You just can't hold it all. Plus it's been molding together. It's been gestating. It's been becoming more law of attraction is added to it. Your inner being's been tending it. Who you really are is such a magnificent state of being. It's not a state of possessing. It's not a state of doing or having It's a state of being. And when you accomplish vibrational alignment with that state of being, then that being will morph into more being, more knowing, more understanding, even more asking, more awareness, more having, more doing, more playing, more action, more of all of that. If it comes from center, but if you're out there applying your action and your words to try to compensate, to try to fix things, then it just gets more and more and more and more and more convoluted. It's kind of like a bill in Congress. It's kind of like your tax codes. They keep trying to fix things. They keep trying to fix things by just piling something else on something that already isn't working. And then they wonder why it doesn't work.